So we are definitely a little bit late to the party on this one, but regardless, we still gotta get it done. Still gotta fill out this Worldwide Celebration Player Survey, get my 7 free Dragon Stones, and more importantly, give Bandai a piece of my mind, man. Let them know how I feel about this highly disappointing celebration we just went through. Okay, so if you guys did the 5 year anniversary player surveys, this one should be fairly similar, at least that's what I'm expecting. So the first question asks our gender, we're gonna go with male, how old are you? I'm 25, so that's the second option, or a third option rather. What is your occupation? Student, full-time employee, part-time slash non-regular employee, self-employed slash management, I'm self-employed. Uh, which best describes your Dokkan battle playstyle? Playing while exchanging information with real friends. Who has those? Uh, what's, what's a real life friend? Especially these days with all the stuff going on. Uh, playing while exchanging information with workmates slash bosses. Imagine your boss plays Dokkan. You can just like talk about like new units and leaks and all that stuff with him. That'd be sick. That'd be a really fun workplace. Uh, but no. Playing while exchanging information with family members. Not quite. Playing while exchanging information with online friends and acquaintances. So I would say, yeah, the majority of my friends that do play Dokkan are definitely like online friends, people I met along the way while, you know, building up the channel. So we're gonna go with that option. Oh, playing alone. Oh. It's okay, guys. If you're watching my videos, you're never really playing alone, okay? Because we're always playing together. Just keep that in mind, especially during the streams. Okay, if you have no friends in real life that play Dokkan, just make sure to tune into the streams whenever they're available. And uh, it's like we're playing together too, right? So you're never really playing this game alone. Just saying. All right, next. We got number five. How often do you play Dokkan Battle? Uh, playing since before, part one of the Worldwide Celebration, stop for a while, started playing again during part one, uh, and stop for the first time, I started playing since the Worldwide Celebration, uh, and then part two. Okay, so definitely before part one, quite a while before part one, obviously, but that is the only option I think that makes sense. Okay, next. That is number five. Number six, which media do you usually use for Doe confirmation? Um, I don't know what they mean by website, to be honest. Like, is there an official Dokkan website? I don't even know. If there is, I had no idea there was. So, um, we're gonna go with official Twitter, of course. We're gonna go with information other users post on Twitter. Shout out to Kawai, I Seriously, Goresh, um, you know, Talon, uh, Air Dokkan, Proton10MG, and everybody else that posts. If I miss somebody, I apologize. Didn't mean to, but you guys get the points. All the leakers, all the data miners, all that good stuff. Um, Facebook, not so much. Instagram, not so much. Line, I don't even know what that is. I mean, actually, I think it's, I think it's not their social media platform, but I don't think it's very popular in North America. I think it's more of a uh, Japan thing, right? Uh, promotion slash ads on YouTube, not really information for uh, other users post on YouTube. I mean, I do watch my own videos once in a while to make sure they're, you know, not broken, but yeah, I don't really watch other Dokkan videos as much, mainly because I'm just you know, making so much content my, on, my, uh, on my own that it's kind of hard to like watch a bunch of Dokkan videos after too, right? So uh, not quite that either. Dokkan now for sure. I love Dokkan now. I want them to make more. So definitely choose that option because those are always fun, man. It's like a party every time a new episode comes out. Uh, talking with friends, talking with family, uh, talking with friends for sure. Family, not so much. And workmate slash boss. I wish, man. Uh, okay, next. Number seven, how, ooh, here we go, okay. Okay, this is the fun part. How was the amount of content in the worldwide campaign? If anybody chooses too much, I'ma disown you from the channel, okay? If you choose too much, then um, you're not welcome here anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but no, seriously, like, this was not the issue. The issue was that there was definitely not enough content. Very insufficient is the only answer that makes sense. Okay, that is the only, did I say sufficient or insufficient? I meant very insufficient if I said the other thing. Um, not insufficient, I mean, not, man, what is wrong with me today? It, it was very not sufficient, okay? There was just too much dead space, too much dead air, too many dead periods where people had nothing to do, man. People were just bored, especially in part one. Part two, I think, was a little bit better, but still not amazing. And there was no part three 
or if you want to say that the oob was part three sure but really it wasn't so um yeah i would say overall very mediocre celebration very insufficient like i said is the only option okay number eight which worldwide campaign events did you think were good i mean there were a lot that were really good right like i loved um the new story event it was it was good especially the new free to play units Extreme Z area from Majin Buu Saga, that was good too. I know some people hate Extreme Z area, but at this point, we gotta accept that it's just something that's gonna be in the game, and um, they're not gonna change it, and I don't mind them too much, honestly. Uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History, for sure. Uh, Launch is Treasure Hunt, that's good. Um, Dokkan events are fine too, but I wouldn't say they were like, especially good. They're just like standard, right? Um, yes, yeah, so for sure Boss Rush, for sure Extreme Super Battle Road. Uh, I like this one too, the Saiyan Gluttons, we can get the, the meats, that should be like a permanent event, man, that should be a daily event, I'm just saying. Uh, Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash, of course, and uh, the, Dokkan, uh, the Dokkan Festival is good as well, but I wouldn't say it was really, like, I, I, it's not content, right, banners are not content, so I'm almost tempted to not check it, but I am going to because the new units at the very least were very, very good. Um, which events do you think weren't so good? Alright, uh... I mean, to be honest, nothing in particular. It's not really the events that were the issue. Like, the events were fine. It was the actual amount of events, the amount of content, the amount of things that we could do. Um, you know, like, it, this looks like there's a lot of events, but these things, like, most of them take very little time, right? Most of them take, like, 20, 30 minutes to complete, so... Yeah, I, I, I honestly didn't have much of an issue with the actual things we got. It was more so the lack of total things, if that makes sense. Okay, next. Did you watch the Dokkan Now special? Uh, yes, I watched it in real time. Uh, how did you... Oh, did watching Dokkan Now special affect your affection or actions or feelings? Um, let's see. I got even more excited for the worldwide so, uh, campaign. I wanted the dual Dokkan festival characters even more. Uh, I wanted the Dokkan festival characters even more after introduction of Super Vegito and Majin Buu Ultimate Gohan. Uh, wait, what? Oh, so this is all part of the promo, I guess. They're just saying, like, oh, which part got you the most hyped? Um, I mean, it did get me more excited for the campaign. And I guess seeing Super Vegito and Majin Buu were pretty hype. Uh, I played Dokkan Battle after watching... I probably did, but I, I was probably streaming. But sure, okay, I played Dokkan Battle after watching. I wanted to tell my friends about the Dokkan Now special. The English broadcast improved my opinion of Dokkan now. I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it improved my opinion. It just kept, kind of kept it the same. I, I enjoyed the program as always. Like I said, right, it's, it's one of my favorite things they started doing since I started playing the game. But I want to say improved my opinion. It just kind of kept it relatively the same, which is positive. Uh, I got less excited, it worsened my opinion, improved my opinion of Dokkan Battle in general. Uh, not so much these ones, but it definitely got me hyped, which is what it's supposed to do. It got me excited for the character, so I think in that, in that sense, it definitely did a good job. Um, you, know, you know what? I'll, 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 throw them, I'll throw them one of these. Uh, the English broadcast improved my opinion, sure, why not? How satisfied were you with Dokkan now special? Satisfied, it was fine. <laughs> It was enjoyable. I had a good time watching it, and I hope they do more of these. Uh, what kind of content would you like to see on Dokkan now? Uh, new in-game event information, new character information, information on game updates, battle strategies information, best part to use, etc. Uh, I don't think we need that. I mean, I, I guess like a lot, it would benefit a lot of players. It will also kind of take away some of my usefulness. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, sure, why not? Special guests, uh, Dokkan Battle YouTubers and voice actors, sure. Yo, Bandai Spice, I know I, I talk a lot of trash sometimes. Okay, I, I know I say things sometimes that uh, might, not so be, might not be so nice to, to, to you specifically, the Bandai Spies, but hey, hey, if you, if you need a guest, I'm, I'm always down. I'm just saying, I, I'm, I'm available. Um, <laughs> you and me with, with the producers, for sure. Uh, what else do I want to see? Um... I don't know, it's putting me on the spot now. What else do I want to see? Uh, I can't think of anything right now. Okay, next. I should I should have prepared uh, a little bit more, I think. Did you try pulling the Gogeta 
Or the Goku and Vegeta Angel and Majin Buu Gotenks, yes. Uh, did you try pulling the Vegeta? Yes, I did, indeed. That was rough. How do you feel about functions that allow you to engage with other players? I want to play with friends and other people I know in real life. That's... that'd be sick. It's a Tamba co-op again, right? That'd be sick. On a form of guild, sure. Uh, oh, you can only choose one. Um, Go to play with, notice board, or some other way to communicate with other players. I want to play with my friends other people I know in real life. Uh... I mean, I want both of these, but like, they're kind of like one and the same to me, no? I mean, I guess you could do this without forming a guild. Uh, okay, sure, I'll go with the first option. But guilds, guilds would be cool too. Um, I don't think it's absolutely necessary by any means. And you know, if we're if if it's, it's the, if it's the choice between like, you know, having a guild or just like having some kind of function to play with people in real time or in real life, um, that'd be definitely preferred. Okay, what kind of gameplay other than what is currently available do you want? Shooting, action, GR, action RPG, etc. Uh, a mode where you can battle directly with other players for a higher rank, that's PvP. Events where older characters get a boost so that you can use them again. That's Extreme Z Awakenings, no? already have that. We have easy A's. Why, why is it asking this? Uh, a mode where you can play cooperatively, cooperatively with other players, that's essentially what we were talking about. New kind of battle where you can give commands to characters rather than current key. Oh, yo. Okay, this is tough because um, that would be op that would be literally a game changer. <laughs> like literally, you're changing the game. Or do I want to just keep the same gameplay style but play with people? Um, honestly, I feel like this one has a lot more room for error. This one seems like it's a little bit more of a safer option. But at the same time, I don't know. Like this is so much more. So, so much, so much of a big, uh, so, a much more bigger change, right? Um, I mean, to be honest, I don't even know if they're gonna keep up or, uh, you know, actually take any of these into account. So I might just be wasting, I might just be wasting my time. But we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Uh, this will be really sick. We can give commands to characters rather than the current key sphere battle style. Wait, but then are they saying it's gonna just be like, like a chain battle style event? Because that would be kind of lame too. Um, you know what, let's, let's go with co-op. You know what, we've been pushing for co-op this entire time. Let's just keep pushing for co-op. Uh, Dokkan Battle ID. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Uh, before I hit it, but I don't think it's really necessary. 466650651. My friends list is full at the moment, so... Unfortunately, if you guys want to add me, um, I would love to add you guys. But it's just not really an option at the moment. Yo, there should be an option for the, for us to choose like increase our friend list limit because the limit is way too small right now. Uh, four six 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 five zero six five one. Confirm. And oh, that looks like, yep, that that's it. Okay, register. All right, so there you go, guys. That is my survey um, answer or my survey answers, and. Uh, you know, we, we we tried our best to tell them what we felt about the celebration. Honestly, they didn't they didn't really ask too many hard hitting questions specifically to do with the celebration. I would have liked a option to like write a message or something like that, but um, I'm I'm guessing they don't want to read through that stuff, so <laughs> that probably explains why there wasn't. And like I said, man, I don't know if they actually take into any of this stuff into consideration into account, so it might just be a waste of time, but either way, you know, do the survey to get your seven free stones. And, um, you know, hopefully uh, some changes are made. I mean, I, I feel like they already, they already know that the Worldwide Celebration was lacking content, to be completely honest. I think they know, I think they're fully aware that the Celebration was not up to par with uh, some of the more recent ones or some of the other bigger celebrations we've had in the history of this game, right? Um, I, I think a lot of it does have to do with... Uh, you know the the global issues <laughs> uh, if you guys are wondering why i can't say it it's because i've been told that it, it, you know the algorithm or whatever doesn't like it so i just gotta keep it low-key for now but uh yeah i think they already know and it's just something that was out of their control which i guess is understandable but that doesn't change the fact that it was a rough celebration and hopefully it doesn't happen again hopefully they uh make proper adjustments or now you know with the you know, with things going on, like it being, you know, haven't gone on for a long time now, uh, they can properly prepare for the next big celebration. Hopefully, six year anniversary on JP is not lame, so that, you know, it's also awesome when it comes to you know, Global 2, right? But uh, there you go, guys. That is 
the survey. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.